Do you want to hardwire all your internet devices for, to your router so that you get better internet speeds? Or did you just upgrade and now you figure, man, it's a good time to hardwire everything in? Well, I just got new fiber internet, so I'm going to be hardwiring this to my Xbox and PlayStation in my home theater. I'm Home DIY Dan, and let's get this done. So we're going to be running ethernet cable from the modem here, into the wall, through the attic, and into the media room. Now I'm marking the hole for the wall plate where I'm going to have the ethernet cable go through. Now I'm cutting the hole that I just marked. I'm using a knife. I normally would use a drywall saw, but I had no idea where it was and I didn't want to look. Once I cut through, I just tried to pop out the hole. Ended up being a two by four behind there, so drilled it in the middle and pulled it out. Now I'm drilling through the foam board on the back side so that when I go around the other side, I can stick the ethernet cable through. Now I'm just securing the wall plate to the wall. So before I run the cable all through the attic, I just wanna make sure that it works. So I plugged it in the modem and the Xbox and it works. It's hot in the attic. Ah. So I've got a 50 foot wire cable, two spools. I'm gonna be sending the first one through there because that's where the wall that we just drilled through is. Hey, look at that. It ended up exactly where I wanted it. I'm now gonna run the cable behind all the air ducts and try and hide it the best I can. Now I'm going to push it through that foam board that I drilled through earlier. Uh, you're getting itchy. After I calmed my son's fear of fiberglass insulation, I hooked up the cable to the wall plate and then screwed the wall plate into the wall support that I put in earlier. Now it's plugged into the wall and the modem. Time to run it through the rest of the attic to the media room. My goal is to try and get it down that hole. Apparently I'm not good at throwing wire. Just gonna feed the rest of the cable down that hole that I was aiming for, and then secure it so that it doesn't go anywhere. I'm just going to run the wire over to where the media room's control center is. From here, I'm just hooking it up to a gigabit network switch so that I can hook up both the Xbox and the PlayStation. Ignore that rat nest of cables everywhere, please. All right, 800 megabits per second on the Xbox and 500 megabits on the PlayStation. With internet speeds like that, I can never complain about gaming or streaming quality ever again. If you guys like cool projects like this, hit that subscribe button to see all the cool stuff we've got coming up next.